Hello Reef Lovers and welcome to the Coral Cafe, my aquaristic YouTube channel. My name is Adam and I am absolutely fascinated with coral reefs and their life, so much that I can call myself a 100% reef addict. Corals and marine fishes have been making me crazy since I saw them for the first time. Immediately, I wanted to have even a little piece of this miracle form of life on my own. And one day, my dream came true. Today, in the very first video on this channel, I would like to introduce to you my reef tank, my own jar of the ocean. So keep watching till the end. Please subscribe to my channel and remember to hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload the new content. Enjoy the video. The great adventure of keeping a little piece of a coral reef at home began on 11th November 2016. It was a Polish Independence Day, so I had a day free and finally I set up my reef tank after years of getting knowledge and months of completing the equipment. The aquarium was growing up and in the meantime my second dream came true. I have started a thread of my tank on Nano Reef Forum, where I upload weekly updates with the short photo stories. You can find the link above and in the description below. After a year of writing the amazing story of my nano reef in Polish and achieving a surprising number of over 12,000 views, I decided to create a YouTube channel to show my tank to more people worldwide, share the greatest hobby of my life, reef aquaristic, and let other people to take part in this marvelous reef life. And this is how the Coral Cafe was born. Okay, reef lovers, let's leave these words of introduction behind us and focus on the undeniable star of this channel, our jar of the ocean. Because a nano reef is a quite complex system, its introduction may take several episodes, so today I would like to focus on the overall presentation of my reef tank and its technical part, including the equipment. In the next episode I'll introduce all the livestock, so let's get started. The setup is really simple because it's my first reef tank. It consists of the exhibition part, where I keep all fish, corals and other cool marine animals and a technical part, hidden in the back panel where I placed all the equipment and filtration media. This part of my aquarium is also occupied by some livestock, mainly microorganisms, helping to keep the tank clean and controlling the levels of nutrients. The technical panel is divided into three connected chambers. The heart of the filtration system is the Tunzi 9004 protein skimmer placed in the first chamber of the panel. Its work is supported by 4 liters of Sera Ciporax ceramic rings, providing an extended surface for development of beneficial bacteria and other organisms, and a bag of chemical glue, a multi purpose filtration media for reef tanks containing nutrients absorbers, activated carbon, and ion exchanging resins. All of this just to ensure the high water quality. There is also a little piece of filtration sponge between first two chambers. The water is moved through the panel by Hydor Pico 1000 pump, while two Jacot RW4 circulation pumps are responsible for wave making. The temperature is controlled by the automated system connected with a Heimiager 200 watt heater and a set of fans. Moreover, all the equipment can be controlled via Wi-Fi from every place in the world. These pieces of tubing right there are the outputs of dosing pumps placed in the cupboard below the main tank. When it comes to the cupboard, let's see what it hides. Except all supplements for corals and fish, the most important piece of equipment is placed here, the main control panel and the brain of the system. It consists of the son of POW, which is the main power switch, enabling the measurement of power consumption, 
three 4-channel Sonoff Wi-Fi switches controlling all devices in the tank and Sonoff THS switch, coupled with temperature probe, turning on and off the heater and the fans depending on the current water temperature and keeping it on the constant level of 25 degrees centigrade. We can find here also the automatic top-off system with 12-liter RO water tank and Jackot TP5 auto-dosing pump with DIY bottles maintaining the levels of macro and micro elements. But what will be the tropical coral reef without the sun? And here it is, Z-Lite Cumaven ZT6600 lamp shining with 200 watts of pure LED light. The light cycle is divided in five parts. Sunrise, Morning, Noon, Afternoon and Sunset to ensure the simulation of real sunlight changes during the day. What's more, it has also a cloud and storm simulation modes, making the weather conditions more realistic. Hey, wait! Did I forget something? Something without our reef tank will be an uninhabited desolation? Of course, reef lovers! Our livestock! Alright, reef lovers! In this video I introduce to you our reef tank, showing its technical part and equipment. It's so important, because without all of these devices our reef tank just can't exist. Our world gives us well-developed technologies to help maintain this little piece of the ocean. Isn't it great? Stay tuned for the next video, because I can't wait to introduce to you our livestock. If you want to be up to date, consider subscribing to the Coral Cafe and remember to hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Hit also the like button if you enjoyed this episode and share your opinion in the comment section below. Until next time, reef lovers, and let's reef the world!